Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi weeks and this is for a monthly view and I'm using a sticker kit from Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, this is specifically a Hobonichi weeks kit and I'm definitely excited to try it out. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is what the kit looks like. These two, I believe, go down at the very bottom. This is a sidebar sticker that goes up here. And then you have date dots. You have two, four, five um, dollar signs, five different paydays in case you get paid weekly, a bunch of trash um, icons, stickers, paw print, a movie um, or like TV, um, icon, alarm icon, phone, hair, uh, hair dryer, looks like a school, car, and then a house. There's a couple of these um, full boxes that would fit the full, the entire box for a certain day. And then these look like half boxes, uh, quarter boxes, or maybe a third. I can't really tell from, from this right here. And then um, a little label that says 4th of July and then a couple of stars for deco. So I'm, oh, and then your top here, you have the um, the week covers and it looks like a couple of balloons maybe for birthdays. So the stickers are really small, but um, I'm excited to see how they all kind of lay out on the page. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm kind of in an, a sticker laying planning mood. So this, I'm actually filming this in June. I don't know when this is going to go up exactly. It might go up in June. It might go up closer. I mean, it'll probably go up in June, but it might go up closer to July. Um, I haven't honestly decided yet, but um, I just want to lay these stickers down because I do use the monthly view as forward planning. And so this way, I would have something already laid down for when I write in dates in, in July. I chose this, so I like I said, I don't really do, I haven't been doing monthly spreads in the Hobonichi weeks, mostly because I tend to use just pen, like this is what I am doing for June, I'm not really gonna add anything. I tried to do my own for May, as you can see, it kinda turned out a disaster. So I'm just gonna stick with pen for June. But for July, I really loved this um, clip art and I wanted to use it. I was going to put it in my Erin Condren, but um, I already had a July kit at the time. So I decided to put this in the Hobonichi Weeks because I just really love this floral combination and it's like patriotic but not like at the same time right so like if you are not someone who is in the u.s or you don't celebrate the fourth of july um you could take out this sidebar with the flags with the american flags and then it would just be a really beautiful like summery red blue peachy colored kit right so i like that I also like how all of this bottom is covered up. Like I personally don't use this bottom at all. I just use the calendar itself. So for me, having the July down here and a really big letters actually works out very well for me. And I really like how this kit is laid out. The stickers are a premium matte and I haven't tried it, but I'm pretty sure that once you lay them down, they're not gonna come up very well from the Tomoe River paper and probably will rip. Um, the only thing I find a little bit strange is that because I am used to seeing the date up here and seeing that this is June and this is May and this is April, right? that when I look, my eyes immediately, when I turn the page, immediately go to the top, and the top has the August forward planning. I find that a little bit strange, and I have to remind myself to look down here to the bigger script where it says July. I love that this is big. I love the big July down here. That to me is just a little bit confusing. I actually think we don't need the August, um, or maybe in the future. I don't know if this is just for this kit because of the way 
the deco is down here, maybe flipping that a little bit so that way it's not so like seems like the month of August. That's just my own personal thoughts. I don't know. But overall, I am not knocking this kit because I do really like how it looks. All right, so I went ahead and put down the 4th of July. Oh, the 4th of July is a Thursday. Like, did I put this in the right month? I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> okay, so I did put it down for July because this is August. All right, and that kind of scared me for a minute. I was like, ah. Okay, um, paydays. So let's see, I'm gonna have to try and figure this out. I'm actually gonna go into my Erin Condren for the paydays. So I, the last day I'm getting paid is the 28th of June and I get paid every two weeks. So 28th of June is this Friday, which means I'm not gonna get paid here. So I'm gonna be paid on the 12th and the 26th. 12th and 26th. These stickers are so tiny. 12th and 26th. Part of me wishes I did get paid weekly so that way I could use all of these stickers. Does anyone else feel that way? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the date dot stickers. Uh, I know in the past that you all have mentioned not wanting me to speed videos up or you didn't really like sped up videos and I totally get that, but I also kind of feel that this might be kind of boring if you're watching me lay down date dot stickers. Um, so I am going to go ahead and speed up this part of the video. I may or may not put music to it depending on how long it takes when I speed it up. But um, I will definitely, this will definitely be the only part that is sped up. So I will be right back. All right, so I am back and I went ahead and put down the date dots. They're so small that I had to use these tweezers, just a pair of random tweezers that I got from like Michaels or TJ Maxx or something, or like, I think maybe, oh no, this might have even been like the dollar store or something. Um, but um, they are so tiny that they're probably a little bit crooked and I can't really change that. Now you'll notice I didn't do the 17th and the 27th because I realized I had these full boxes. And since I am doing this so far in advance, like a whole month early, I don't really, I can't really think of anything specific that I would need, that I would need or want to put a full box on. So I'm gonna kind of treat this more almost like deco and put these down on the 27th and the 28th because that just kind of like, spaces them a little bit. Um, I mean, the 10th might have even been a little bit better, but 17th it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the date dots over it. I wanted to put them down before the date dots because if I had put the date dots down first and then later on there was an event um, that required the full box, then it would be covering up the date dot. So that's, my, my thinking. All right, the only other thing is that, let's say we have to give my dog meds on the first, and then also in theory, rent is due on the first. We pay rent to my father-in-law though, so if we're a couple days late, it's okay. We do not have anything related to cars. Um, I don't really do trash because I just take out trash every day because we live in a condominium and they have a larger dumpster that's always open and available. So I just do it then. And then I think the only last thing is maybe, maybe doing, uh, I wanna put this somewhere, but I also don't know. Maybe I won't put it anywhere right now. A little bit of deco it's just that floral and then three stars but i don't know where to put them so um and then bills i think i will put down i know let's see 
I usually have a bill on the 13th as my student loan. So I might put it on, I think it comes out on the 12th. If it, if I don't, um, if the 13th is a weekend, so there's that. And then I know I definitely have a big bill on the first that usually comes out. I put the maybe I'll put the dollar signs on the other side. I do like to try and keep it consistent. So that did come off the Tomorrow River paper without ripping it, but it's also tiny, so I don't know how the larger stickers would be affected. And there's a couple more bills that come out. I just don't know when. Like I know, I think health insurance and dental insurance is due on the 23rd usually. So I will go ahead and put that here. And then I have two more. I will leave those for other, for other bills. Um, like I think water is due usually on the 31st or the 30th. So I'll go ahead and do it on the 30th, just to be sure. And then I have one more. I'll go ahead and fill that in later. Okay, so then I just have all these half boxes and quarter boxes. I am going to go ahead and put down on, use this little red quarter box because the 4th of July is also my uncle's birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this red striped quarter box that does look like a quarter box and then this one of these little tiny balloons that will mark my uncle's birthday. And I think that is it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to move these little balloons off to the right. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this down and make it a little bit smaller. And then I will keep this with me so that way I can add to my planner using stickers if, if I need to. There we go. I'll probably just take this off so it doesn't get in the way. There we go. All right, so this is all that I have left for stickers, mostly the half boxes and quarter boxes, and then all the trash icons because I don't know what to do with that. Um, if you had the little Hobonichi like uh, envelope pocket, you could put that here, right? And then that would fit perfectly. I don't um, because I had things in, I've been using a um, cover. I might see if I can find the um, little envelope or a little like um, the sticky page. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's that clear sticky uh, pocket. And then I can put this in the back, tuck it into the back, just like that. But let me go ahead and write in with, um, I'm using the Hobonichi pen that comes with your Hobonichi when you purchase from the website. So let me go ahead and just write in my uncle's birthday. And I think that's it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and write in all the um, bills. So,
Oh, one other thing I just remembered. I wrote down in my phone because it just happened yesterday, but I didn't have time to put it in my planner, um, is that I do have a hair appointment and the hair appointment is going to be on Saturday the 20th. So I'm going to use the little hair dryer and write in the hair appointment. And that's at 11.30 a.m. Okay, so that is it. I really like how this looks. Like I said, I the reason why I got this kit was because I love this kind of floral decorative look. So I'm very happy with this. The stickers are tiny. Um, and if you are someone who writes really big, then these little squares may not do it for you. But um, overall, I do like the way that it looks. I like how there's this complete covering here. And if you wanted to, you could put something here, although I'm not quite sure what you would want to put. The only thing that's a little bit off to me is just having that August at the very top left, where usually the monthly for that month is, uh, the monthly name is. But like I said, that's the only kind of I guess you could call it a mini complaint, um, but everything else looks really, really beautiful. So that is it um, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please like and subscribe for more Hobonichi related videos. I will talk to you in the comments and see you in the next video. Happy July, everybody. Bye.